Here we have a P2J D16Y8 head that we're going to be porting, which is the same as a local VDI, but that's only 16 lobes. Yes, we did a video long ago, but of course we're going to do an updated version now. Here's a head bone stock. We haven't even disassembled it. It's all stock and good. Yep, we're going to pull the valve springs and retainers off and get the valves out. Here you can check. You can see the intake bowl is all clean and stock. We're just gonna start it off, of course, with the carbide. Yes, we go with gently, get the shape done, and then go with the 80 grit. Yes, we're gonna go with this step by step with you guys and finish the head. So, yep, this one is something that you're gonna like. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> First off, we got a new Facebook page. I had to make a new one because my personal Facebook got hacked, so I lost control of the old one. Here's the new one. You gotta like and follow. We got the price list for head porting, even engine building, and even cam degree. Every we post a lot of technical stuff, including reels like this with the, about the quench pads. And here, you have assembled the engine. We also have good posts there. And here, there's one that I want to show you guys. Got a, the ring gap and the details of that, in special this one. We talk about the deck height on B series, or when you change pistons, how you calculate it to know if it sticks out or not before you even assemble it. Yes, it started off with a D series here, so we got a B series and D series. And of course, if you're not on Facebook, we got also an Instagram, it's also active. I handle it myself, I got some good posts there. So when you DM the page or Instagram, it's all me answering. I'll get back to you guys. So now let's start. Here's the head. Yes, not yet disassembled with all the stock springs and all the stock good stuff. Yes, it's all red because of they're using XCS fuel from Petron, so it's usually red. So Petron blaze is, is usually green or blue. So you have this bone stock. Here is all the removed. You look at the intake is pretty clean, pretty decent, but, can, but we can see core shift. So now let's go ahead to the porting bench. Let's start with the carbide on the exhaust to shape it up. You know, we can start with 80 grit, but it takes too long. It depends on the head that we're working on. But this one called for a carbide initially on the exhaust, so we get the shape good. We try to not use the carbide too much because it's you, know, you, you fall prey to hogging out the pores with a carbide. Now here, it's all good. We go with the 80 grit. Let's go. Yes. Okay, now we gotta speed it up so it doesn't get too boring. Yes. After a few passes on the 80 grit, you're, still, you, you're gonna start feeling like there's no more bumps. But then when you switch to 120 grit, you'll feel, feel it right away. So, you know, we do the steps like this. And of course, you gotta wear your gas mask or face mask. As you can see, the carbon dust there, that does not need to go to your lungs. We gotta make sure you guys stay healthy. So hey, that's all the important things. Now here to the exhaust port floor. We clean it up. Yep, it's going really good now. Just a few more. Now the last exhaust. Okay, now once this is all good and cleaned up, now we flip the head, we work on the bowl. Here, the exhaust bowls. 80 grit we're trying to see the shape we, you know because it's full of carbon so you won't see it but after you make a few passes on the 80 grit it, it starts to show itself more so you know how to work it out clean it up it's really good all right now here on the intake side yes we actually switched the uh lubrication mix and it's now back to 70 percent ethyl alcohol and 30 percent soapy water back in summer we moved it to 50 50 because it was drying up too too quick with the ethyl alcohol so we, we, we put it down to 50 percent so that the, uh, the other 50 is also the soapy waters but now we're back to 70 to 30 so yep now it's gonna be good here's the short turn of the intake we clean it up a bit yep and you can see it's getting good it's not yet there, but it's slowly getting there. Yes, and now, okay, let's look at the intake side because we've done the bowl work. This is like an essentially a type R. That's how type R's are with just the bowl work. And actually, even local stock VTI would benefit largely from this. It will be running more efficiently, more responsive. So even stock can handle this good. 
And so if you're liking this video, hit the like button. This way it gives more activity and the algorithm will pick it up and spread it out to wider audience. It helps the channel tremendously. So I really appreciate that. And of course, if you haven't, subscribe. This way you can check out all the other videos whenever you log into YouTube. Once again, because you're already subscribed, you're going to see all the good stuff on your own free time. And of course, for the hardcore, we got some good videos, especially pointing videos with full details, including the valve jobs. We talk about it, even dyno tuning and engine assembly. Yes, for the hardcore in you, that one, this one is actually definitely for you. Yep, I'll see you there, guys. All right, so now let's continue. Here we are with 80 grit on the intake. We continue getting the shape good. Where this time lapse this, all right? We we'll spray some lube every once in a while just to make sure the finish is really good. We're getting the shape that we want. You don't get confused with the bumps and ridges with the proper lube. It just feels, you know, it, it tells me where it needs more work. All right. Yes. And then the final part here. All right. This is good now. Okay. Now let's just clip the phone. Let me show you guys closer. Oh yeah, starting to get the shape that we want, but it's still not totally hogged out, so this is good. Yep. All right. Yes. We'll make a few more passes later, but for now, we head back to the exhaust. But look at that. It looks really good, right? Starting to get there. Yep. All right, now let's flip the head back here onto the exhaust floor. We get make, make this is the second pass on the 80 grit. We keep making this pass like on the second or third pass so we can get all the ridges gone. This way we can smooth to 120 grit and suddenly we'll feel the new ridges. But for now, the, the second pass, so let's go. We continue, make sure it's all smoothed out good. We contour it properly. This way we, we don't maintain the casting ridge or the flaw on the casts itself it gets better all right there you go spray a bit more yeah it's almost done yes all right and finally now here let's look it close oh yeah just the way we like it. It's getting there is already good now. Okay. Yep. Now we wash this up and take it onto the bench. Show you guys better. Here it is. All the intake is all cleaned up and good and ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. You can see the core shift behind the valve seat before before the valve seat from the bowl. We don't really clean that up because you can clean it up and look good in pictures and posting in Facebook, but it's going to skew the cross sectional area. It's not going to help flow at all. And you're going to start to think that you need more compression just to gain performance and then blow it up. Here's the intake bowl on the bottom. You can see it's all good. You can actually see the exhaust up top. It's also there it's starting to look good, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's going to be an efficient head. Now let's go to the exhaust here. Look. Needs a few more passes, but it's going to be perfect when we're done with it. Yep. Okay, now let's go back to the porting bench. Make some, a few more passes. Here it is. With 120 grit now. Clean it up. And we've sprayed a few on the pores as you can see. A few of the lube. It's getting cleaner. As you can see, with the 120 grit, is starting to change the look. Change, change the look of the texture. The texture is starting to really look really good, right? Yep. Keep going. Spray a bit there. Yep. You gotta feel it with your hands every once in a while just to make sure you're on the right track and not going overboard. Yes. Now here it is. All good now. Yes, now let's go to the intake. Clean that we sprayed there. Make sure everything is good. The port side wall, there's always often like a ridge because of the core shift and you can clean that up. Not, not to hog it out, but just clean it up. 
and later when we're done you can still see that there'll be the court the, there's still the parting line but it's not totally hogged out you can remove it you make it look really pretty for facebook but then that also means you just hogged it out so you gotta be careful with that all right here it's a little bit close okay yeah now let's go to the bowl and here 120 grit on the intake to get it all smooth yes yeah, so you can actually you can actually see it's starting to look a lot better than the 80 grit right yes, sir yes sir okay let me clip it let me show you oh yeah it's starting to look beautiful yes and then we flip the head and go on the exhaust side the exhaust bowl i mean one to get, and you can see I'm still trying to feel all the areas, just make sure everything is contoured well. Because sometimes you gotta feel it rather than see it. Alright, here it is, let me show you close. Oh, there it is, that's ready to be washed up. Make a few passes and then let's go to the clean bench because it's done. Here it is, would you look at that? Looks so, so good, right? Yes, now let's look at it closer. Here with the light, there. We try, as you notice, we maintain the curve because it's promoting swirl. That's the design of the D16Y8. We're not changing that. We're not reinventing the wheel. We're just making sure this flows better than stock. Yes, with a good valve job, everything is gonna be really, really good here. As you can see the parting line on the edge, we didn't really hog it out, we didn't remove it. It's still there, but it's all smoothed out good. Now let's look at the exhaust side. Oh yeah. Because the car has a good exhaust system, this is gonna be really, really perfect. Let's look at it close with lighting. Here it is. As you can see, the hard part here is actually trying to make sure the port is as round as possible from the valve seat to the bowl on onwards to the exit. Of course, you can't just go large and then small again. You have to consistently taper it out. You know, or like diverge it properly. Like gently, but properly. As you can see here, it's all consistent and all good. This promotes good exhaust flow and that helps efficiency a lot. Here's another look on the intake again. As you can see, the curve is still there, still good. Yep. And I'll show you why we run this kind of light just to see everything. And you'll see it on, on the old, older videos here, the picture. On this part, you can see the curve with the light. If that is not properly or is abrupt, you will see it. And that's how you maintain the curve properly. For at least for me, I try to check it with the light. Here on this side too, you can see, right? So if it's not contoured well, you actually see it. The reflection would show you there's a bump and ridge, you know? And you can see the older videos, the other videos that I have on, on the B16, even GSR or H22 head, I show you pictures of this, but not really necessary to talk about the arrows, but you can actually see the contours are right there and properly because of the light. And if you've seen my other videos, that's why I always said light don't lie, right? Now here, the head is ready to be resurfaced. Of course, check if it checks out all good. And then we install the SuperTech valve seals. It's gonna be all good. We're gonna vacuum test it. Here it is, all done, all surfaced good. Oh yeah, it looks really, really good. Next up is vacuum test. Make sure everything is good and then fully assemble it. Oh yeah, this one is ready to make good jam. Oh yeah. And of course, you can check out this video here. On the part two, we assemble this head for this engine because this project is for this engine here. And of course, naturally, checking out the part one is also good. It's over here. Both will be in the description below. Don't worry, so you can check it out. And of course, on the end list, end screen, we'll have more than 90 videos on the playlist of the technical good stuff. You can also click it here.